All right, I'm confident, it's all good. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so nervous to film this. <laughs> Breathe. Well, hello guys, and welcome back to the channel for the last time in, I don't actually know how long. <laughs> Obviously, by the title of this video, I've made the decision to step away from making YouTube content for the time being. I say for the time being because at this point, I don't know how long this is gonna be for, but I do know for sure that it's gonna be for a while. And for you guys who come back and watch me regularly, I feel like you guys really deserve an explanation because it is kind of weird if someone you follow just drops off the face of the planet, right? It's not my style and that's exactly why I wanted to make this video. There's obviously also a few reasons why I've decided to do it, but it's also not all doom and gloom. It's actually quite positive for me and everything that's going on in my life right now. But at the same time, it still didn't make this decision any easier to make because this whole world that I've created over the last eight years with you guys has essentially become a forward-facing identity for me. Not only that I use online, but also in my general day-to-day -day actions too. Like when I meet people, for example, and we do the whole, oh, what do you do for work? It's usually for me, I go, well, I do this for work and full time, and I'm a hair enthusiast on YouTube. And automatically, the whole YouTube slash influencer thing on a surface level is way more exciting and interesting to other people than my normal job. <laughs> so from the outset, I kind of get labeled as the social media guy, which I actually personally fucking love. It's a cool title. <laughs> but as of the new year, like 2022, a few things have changed with work and I'm just really uncertain right now as to whether or not I'm gonna be able to juggle content making with what I actually do for a living. <laughs> In short, I've been offered a significant promotion with my full-time job that not only offers me the financial freedom that I'd like for myself, but also the responsibilities and the professional development that's gonna come along with it. They're just not gonna allow space for me to be able to swing between both anymore. Which, when I thought about that too, is fucking heartbreaking because I've put so much effort into creating this whole world, but at the end of the day, I really have to do what's best for me and my future. And some of you also might be thinking, well, why don't you just follow your passion and make YouTube your full-time job? And that's actually a very good question because that could 100% be an option, but I really need to look at the whole thing from a high level. And the truth is, yeah, I'm passionate about what I do here and I put my genuine heart and soul into everything that I've created, but I actually also love what I do for work. And I think that's also a luxury that not everyone gets to have either. So as the fork in the road approaches me very quickly, by the way, um, I've kind of got two paths that I could go down. Both look very attractive to me. However, I really have to weigh up the pros and cons of both, not only for my immediate future, but also the distant future as well. And when I look at what being a social media personality is for me, I've never looked at it as a way to generate a sustainable income or living. It's more just so been for pleasure because you know I love creating stuff and sure, I've taken sponsorships and I've taken brand deals and I've received cash incentives for doing that, but I am super picky about the brands that I work with at this point and unless I actively go out there and find brands that I wanna work with in order to make the cash flow I actually need to sustain my lifestyle, particularly after buying a house, there is no way I'd make enough money to support my lifestyle, no way in hell. And on top of that, the negotiating, the contracts, the deal making, all of that stuff is so not me. Like I fucking hate it. And the pressure of doing all of that actually takes away from my spark of creativity, which is the whole reason that I started doing this in the first place. You know, with this stuff, like making income on social media, I kind of just go, if the right fit or brand comes along, sure, I'll take it. And if not, I don't care. Just get out of my way and let me create what I want to create for my audience. That's always how I've looked at it. So the idea of pushing and grinding to try and make social media work for me financially compared with my full-time role, which I love, it just doesn't make sense. The team I work with full-time are also like my family. They give me every single resource that I could ever need. I'm not treated like a standard employee. I'm allowed to you know, innovate and exercise my ideas, even if they fail, and they pay me what I'm worth without me needing to negotiate a thing. And the fact that they've asked me to step up a level and take on more responsibility means that they believe in what I can do and it provides me the security I need to sustain my lifestyle as it is right now. Like I just said before, I just bought my first house and I 
absolutely refuse to go backwards. Like, refuse. Especially when I already love what I'm doing. So that's essentially my reasoning behind this. Uh, I feel like if I didn't announce it and didn't take a step back, I'm only going to let you all down anyway because I am not going to have the capacity to sit here and curate content like I've been doing over the last few years. So it would just end up being a fizzle out anyway, uh, which certainly didn't make me feel good either. Like, as if I could just stop posting without saying anything. Like, what? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. So there you go. Now you all know what's going on and why I've made this decision. And I'm so grateful to have made my mark on this community and share all of my hair knowledge and inspiration that I have. And I really am super proud of everything that I've done here. But for now, it's really time for me to take a step away and you know, really get into the guts of life. <laughs> the other thing I could have done as well is created my own brand or own product of some kind, but the other truth is I've never wanted to create my own hair brand like Blue Man or develop a kick-ass app like Trav White. Those guys are fucking amazing and I take my hat off to them for making this space work in their favour. Not only because they love it too, but they have the drive to build those things and I've only ever been here because I wanted to be creative and create content and connect with people. It's just moments like this where you really got to choose what's best for you right now and right now taking a complete step away is what's best for me. In terms of the Man Buns and Mains Facebook community, I have no fucking idea at this stage what's next for that. At this point, everything will continue as usual, but it's certainly something that I'm gonna need to evaluate because separately from all my YouTube stuff, it's kinda now its own little ecosystem which also relies on me for decision making and where we're gonna go next. So again, I've got more thinking to do on that one, but for now, one thing at a time, and I wanted to explain everything here first because I feel like this channel is really where all my roots start. So yeah, it's very overwhelming actually. With that said, I don't know when I'll be back, but I sure as hell love you all to the moon and back. Uh, and I can't thank you enough for joining me on this journey so far. And that's all I got for you. Thanks so much again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> Goodbye. It's time to go Thomas. <laughs>